Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to do a very good food company update. So yesterday I made a video regarding very good food company and I said I thought it would crash and it would pull back to around $2.50. But after watching today's price action, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I really think that there's a lot of support for this company and it's just not a little uh, pump and dump. So in my opinion, this this is what I think is going to happen. I think that, you know, th again, this is only my opinion and I'm not being paid to promote this company. But I think that it's probably going to trade between $4 and $5. And it's going to trade there for at least a, a good week or so until there's some positive news or some positive catalyst. And then I think the stock could take off to new highs. Again, this is my opinion and none of this is financial advice. So just be aware. Uh, and I just think that I think there's solid support for this company. And I just think that it'll, it won't drop to what I predicted, which was $2.50. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I think that is, you know, I think if it goes below four dollars, it could be an opportunity. Not financial advice. Um, am I gonna buy at below four dollars? No, I'm gonna be patient on this one just in case I'm wrong and it does drop down. Like if if it drops to the low three dollars, I might pick up some shares. But I'm going to hold off and I'm gonna wait patiently. I'm just gonna watch the price action to see where the stock will go. But right now, it looks like there's a lot of support. It crashed early in the morning and it got bought up all the way up to $4.85. Sold off a little bit and it's just kind of trading sideways right now. I think $4 is a good support area. I, I don't think it's going I don't think it's going to drop below four, but hey, I could be wrong and I want to be wrong. I want the stock to drop because I want to buy at a cheaper price. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that it's I think it's going to hold support at $4 and then eventually it's going to move up again. But we'll see. We'll see. And I'm hoping that in the future this, this stock gets hit uh, hits the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. And then it will really explode to the upside. But hey, we'll see what happens. So very good food company uh, traded on the US Exchange on o under the OTCQB. Uh, is two uh two point seven five million shares already, and it's only um, half day, so that's quite a bit of volume. Uh, on the Canadian side, it's a lot more. So it looks like the can uh, Canadian investors are the leading the charge into um into the stock. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But right now, it's getting a lot of support. In my opinion, just from looking at the stock price action. But we'll see. It could be like a similar story to Snapchat where Snapchat went from $28 all the way up to $43. And it looked like the stock was very uh, was overbought. But it just kept trading sideways for a while. And now the stock is no longer overbought. Because if we look at it from a charting perspective. Uh, you know. The, the stock price has cooled off and it's no longer overbought. RSI is still kind of high at 72. MACD does look like it's going to crash, but we'll see though. We'll see what happens with Snap, but it could be like a Snap where it just kind of holds its, its uh, love, it holds at $4, cools off the RSI, cools off the MACD. Big news comes out. We can make it to new highs. We'll see if that's going to be the scenario moving forward. I'm holding on to my shares and I'm looking to add more if the stock price goes to a reasonable level. Uh, Beyond Meat, uh, Beyond Meat right today is two dollars up one point three nine percent, two dollars and three cents. Still has a market cap of nine point two seven billion U.S. Very has a market cap of two hundred and thirty six million dollars U.S. So if Vary had a ten dollar price tag, that would be roughly one less than a billion dollars, and you know it it still wouldn't look too expensive. 
but will big money push it all the way up to a dollar? I mean, ten dollars. I think if it gets onto a U.S. exchange like Nasdaq or New York Stock Exchange, I think that there's a big possibility that could happen in the future. But we'll see. Uh, Beyond Meat. Uh, Beyond Meat is I already talked about Beyond. Uh, so the election election results. Um, seems like Biden is gaining ground on Donald Trump in vote count. But we'll see. I mean, I think uh, the election will be official by Friday. But again, Donald Trump is not going to let this. He's not going to just not give up without a fight. And he is fighting because Trump threatens to take a uh, election fight to the Supreme Court after claiming victory. The Biden camp say that's outrageous and incorrect. So yeah. Uh, Donald Trump is going to fight it. He's going to try to prevent it and it's going to be a con contested election. But does it matter? Does it really matter? Because the market doesn't really care right now. It doesn't care right now. Uh, the market is up 2.8% today. Oh, come on. I can't even get to the chart. I can't get to the chart. But it's bullish. It's bullish. So uh, the market right now, everything's bullish. Nasdaq is up, wow, like four percent. That's insane. Glow Dow, Glow Dow is up, you know, three percent. Oil is up to up three point eight eight percent. Everything looks really bullish. Hylion right today is up. Oh, it's pulling back a little bit. Ride today had a really nice day, up eight percent. Workhorse is pulling back. Could be an opportunity. Uh, the closer and close workhorse gets to fifteen dollars, the more and more of an opportunity it becomes. Uh, Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp, uh, which is QuantumScape, today is down forty cents. Switchback Energy down forty four cents today. Blink today is down four dollars. GameStop today was is down. Ooh, GameStop up sixty six cents. Woo! I just bought some GameStop stock today, uh, and. It, and the stock is rallying, which is nice. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but it's up, so I'm happy. What's going on? What's going on? Whoa, it looks like it's crashing right now. What's, what the hell? Never mind, never mind. That was just a glitch on their part. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> AMD. Is AMD crashing too? No, my god. Uh, the Yahoo Finance is glitching like no tomorrow. Xilinx up $7. Solo. I don't trust this. Solo is probably glitched on the... Glitched? I don't know. It's not glitched. It glitched. Yeah, glitched. Well, solo is two dollars nine eight cents. It broke up. It broke out for a little bit there, but pulled back. We'll see where that goes. Uh, Arkimoto. I don't trust that. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Arkimoto down twenty cents. Uber today had a nice day. Lyft had a nice day. Tesla is just trading sideways today. It's trading at four twenty. Uh, Neo is just crazy. Neo is starting to pull back, but Neo hit almost forty dollars today, and then now it's pulling back a little bit. Uh, Snap is uh, up thirteen cents. Nvidia is uh, up five point three two percent. ACB today is down forty seven cents. Canopy growth today is down seven percent. Cron today is down 7.28%. Afria today is up a little bit. Tilray is down. Liberal Health Science is down today 1.5 cents. Harv is holding its grounds. Uh, Planet 13 stock is up today half a penny uh, up five cents kira is up 
18 cents. Cresco Labs is up 26 cents. True is up a dollar 12. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.